the sausage rolls are here. <laughs> Right, we're back at the local. It's been a few months and all, so we've come back to Sausage Roll Land, we're calling this. Sausage Roll Towers. Um, obviously, Lad Baby and his missus are doing something with the runaway mine train. Um, so we're gonna go and check that out today. We're also gonna see some Wicker Man updates and we are also gonna check out the new flat ride near Nemesis. I'm so excited back at the park it's after. It's been so long since I know. Been, honestly. It's crazy, I love it. Um, it's during the summer holidays. It doesn't seem too busy at the moment. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep you updated on some of the queue times as well if you do plan to visit this month. The sausage rolls are here. <laughs> sausage roll hideout, located in pizza and pasta. <laughs> See him moving. That's not pizza <laughs> pasta. That's a sausage roll. <laughs> I've got my high five. Yes. Yes. Right, waited 16 minutes to go on the, the sausage roll coaster. Um, there's not really much change to be honest, other than the speed. They still say choo choo, which is good. Uh, did you enjoy it, Kate? Oh, it's lovely. You can't Very go wrong. Easy, can't yeah. go wrong the runaway mine train. Of course not. But yeah, course. other than that, there's not really much difference. They are waiting outside the entrance, and they do do a free meet and greet, which you can book. Um, but other than that, there's not really much going on. So Nemesis is currently on a 40 minute queue and this is the new flat ride that is going here. Obviously as we know it is going to sit on that concrete structure which has now been fully built. There's now a big crane. A lot has happened in the last few months whilst I've been in Europe touring but it is coming together very well. Oh, we've got another angle here for you. You can see more of the concrete structure and obviously what's going on down here. Overall there isn't really much to show you other than the concrete block. Obviously there is a massive crane now. But other than that, it is just generally the concrete block, but it's good to see work taking place very, very quickly lately. As you're coming over the summer period, they do have a lot more stock in the Nemesis store was where I thought I'd show you, especially since the start of the season. This place is fully stocked up. All the hats, tops, shirts, everything. The only thing they don't have is any resins or bolts over in the corner there, but all the clothing, including the denim stuff, is all fully stocked up again. Well, you won't believe what is actually open. The Curse Wheel Manor is finally open. The unreliable dark ride. Yeah, Ouija board on a mug, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a mug. £30 for the mug, or £25 if you want the, the goblin. Massive, though. It's like a suit mug, mate. Yeah, it's huge. Crazy. Well, the curse actually had a lot of effects working other than the tunnel and I was actually pretty impressed. The timing was good. It looks like it slowed down some of the trains to actually make sure that the effect isn't seen before it's meant to happen, if that makes sense. All the audio seemed to work, the lighting seems to be alright. But yeah, other than the tunnel, it was actually working pretty well, so I am impressed. So yesterday they did take down the scaffold and obviously there was a recent fire on Wickerman. Hopefully this could be open for this week possibly. It really depends on how long it testing is. I don't think we'll see it open today. I think you'd be extremely lucky because they will have to do extensive testing. A few moments later. So returning this year for Scarefest is Burial Grounds. Obviously get the walkthrough attraction from last year that was free. Obviously they've got the cage there. I can't remember if this was left built or not to be honest, but you can see at the exit a few things and I'm sure over the next few months we'll start seeing, well next few weeks should I say, we'll start seeing more and more get added back to Boreal Grounds for the return this year. There's some of the iconic Alton beer is chilling out on the lawns. Caleb wants a picture of him secretly. Thank you Caleb, you're on the honour picture. I? I'll have my coffee back now. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. I wonder if Alton Bear wants a coffee. Look at him mate, look at that beautiful bear. Chilling on the lawns, there's actually a show on at the moment because the CBB's 10 years is still going on. Oh, wow. oh yeah, blimey. <laughs> so it's about midday, we're just strong. We've done a lot of filming that we needed to do, which you would have already saw. But yeah, it's not the 10 years anniversary, so if you do plan to come at the end of August, this will still be going on, and then obviously it'll stop and it all change to Oktoberfest at the start of September. I think September 7th, and we'll be here early in the event to give you all the updates of that as well. Well, Daz Games, my favourite attraction from last year from Scarefest. It was very, very intense. It was great, to be honest. I didn't like the IP, but I thought the overall attraction was really good. Currently, it is Watch This Space, 
personally, I do think it's going to return, but under a different IP, and I think that is what it means by watch this space, because on the teaser, it did include some of the actors on the video, so I assume the game is going to come back, but maybe not by Daz Games. They might change it up, and as I said, come with a different IP, and if they do, I'll be very, very impressed with that. But yeah, hopefully we do see the return, because it was a very good concept, just maybe not under that IP. Coming over to X Sector, surprisingly quiet is the exposition food. These obviously came in May to fill up, well, something in X Sector because, quite frankly, there's nothing over here. Two of the best roller coasters in the UK currently live in one of the worst areas at a theme park because it's barren. There's no flat rides, there's nothing going on, and both are in absolute state and they desperately need painting. And the Smiler is my current UK number one. I absolutely love the Smiler, even if it is a bit rough and I love Oblivion as well, we both desperately need painting. So yeah, I really hope we see some TLC over the winter break over here because it desperately needs it. Flat ride in here would be great. So I really hope, fingers crossed, that X Sector gets some desperate up-to-date theming. We've seen what you can do with Nemesis now and Forbidden Valley, all the towers. Let's see it for X Sector as well. You've got two iconic coasts here and arguably one of the most iconic coasts ever that has been in the UK. She might need some TLC, but I'm still going on 60 minute queue for the Smiler. We're going to do single rider, but one hour is really good during the middle of August, summer holidays. One of the majors returning is Altonville Mine Tours. I've said a little bit of a rejig last year. To be fair, even if they didn't confirm it, this would have confirmed it with all the mine lights. Obviously, we'll go down there because this is the entrance to Altonville Mine Tours. See a couple of wooden pillars that weren't there before, but yeah, nothing really majorly has happened there. So, as expected, there is nothing to be seen. Obviously, this is where you come out, and obviously, at the exit last year did get chased by a chainsaw but yeah nothing to be seen but yeah let's just start seeing some more things over the next few weeks hopefully to do with all these different mazes and we'll come and do some updates the towers now since i was last here you now have to pay 10 pound you get a tour i might do that at some point and we'll uh, talk you through it but a lot of people have got reviews online and things the smiler is now by the way nearly two hours long so we got on there in 10 minutes through single rider i know a lot of people thought things were happening in the darkest depths this year but Obviously, we know there's only two new attractions, which we are assuming that one of them is in between the Curse and Nemesis, and obviously you assume the dungeons. So I don't know what they're doing in the Darkest Depth area, unless there's going to be some announcement about it. I don't know. Very, very tall fence, by the way. Makes me look like a midget, and obviously you've got the shipping containers. We really hope they do something down this side of the park, because it's got a lot of potential to expand the capacity. Especially maybe putting a flat ride like they used to be down by where Rita and 13 is. It'd be rude not to go on 13 whilst we're down this end of the park. One thing I said last year, and I'd love to see it this year, but it probably won't happen, would be a walk through uh, Skier Zone, a bit like Burial Grounds, but around 13. I've always wanted some kind of dark ride down here. Again, where you'd fit it, I'm not too sure, but they could do so much with Dark Forest. Make it a lot more spooky, get rid of Rita, no one likes Rita anyway. So one of the last attractions they have this year is the dungeons. They've been closed for a few weeks now, and these are going to get redone to be some kind of scare attraction. I really hope, I did make this in the video, it isn't just a little tweak. I really hope they do go to town with this and do a proper full re-theme. We've just seen the most expensive ice cream ever. Four pounds for a 99. Absolutely ludicrous. We are out here. Um, Hex, obviously, is still closed. There's not really much to say. I don't really think we are going to see this open this year unless they do it as a scare fest surprise because they've been banging on about how it's going to open this year, but, well, it's not opened. Pretty simple. If you told me in March that it wouldn't be open until August or would be sitting August without it open, I'd have been very, very surprised. The only maze I can't really show you is where the attic would usually be, because that is obviously in the towers, but that is that is the last confirmed maze that we've not spoke about today. Right, so we're in the shop now. They do have some Christmas decorations out. These are £18.04. You cannot have any different rides on the floor here, uh, but they do feel a little cheap, so I would warn you ahead of time. You've also got some resins. There doesn't seem to be any Smiler resins available, and I don't think I've seen any other clothing um, available that's new at all. There was a couple of, like, a new mug in the Curse Vault Manor and things. Uh, but there seems to be quite a couple of offers on at the moment in the store. Different bits of drinkware, I mean, they buy one, get one half price over there. So if you, um, so yeah, there's no Smiler resins down on any of these shelves. You have got your Hex resin on the ride that never opens, and here is your 13 resin. 
I don't think I'm seeing any work command. Oh, hello. Oh, Ming Bong. Ming Bong, your train has departed. <laughs> anyway, there's the 13 one. And there wasn't any Nemesis presents either in the Nemesis store, so I don't know if they're going to get restocked at some point. And I as well, they are selling at previous year's fireworks, gear fest, Oktoberfest, and also Christmas. I don't think there's anything new out yet. Again, buy one, get one half price. So if you've not got any of the old Scare Fest or Fireworks or Oktoberfest uh, or equally Christmas Orton Towers, again, all the mugs and drinkware is buy one, get one half price. This ain't an ad, it's just generally there. Oh, hello. The set of four mugs is on off 30% off, um, which is pretty good. £17 instead of 25 I assume you get your Merlin Pass on top of that, which would make the entire thing 50% off, which makes four mugs £12.50, which is an incredible deal. Someone's right going for that Monopoly down there. Brilliant. Jesus. That is the third time I've <laughs> um, Always find it funny with all the towers. these are massive mugs. I'm not really sure what I'm meant to do with these massive mugs. Uh, well, I do drink a lot of coffee, so maybe I should invest in a massive mug. There is a, a huge one by Down Curse Hall Manor. Well, we didn't film any outro. However, thank you all for watching. Please make sure if you did enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe with Noty Bells on. There's going to be a lot of update videos coming out throughout the next few weeks. So if you want to keep up to date with everything at Orton Towers, then you know where to be. Have a good day and I'll see you later. Goodbye.